The individual physician experiences presented here should not be considered medical advice. Healthcare professionals should be consulted for all risks and benefits of all treatment options. Trained physicians are familiar with patient selection criteria most associated with positive clinical outcomes and can determine whether the TIF procedure is appropriate on a case-by-case -case basis. While clinical studies support the effectiveness of TIF, transoral incisionless fundoplication in treating chronic GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, individual results may vary. There are no guarantees of successful outcome. The TIF procedure may not be appropriate for every individual, and it may not be applicable in every clinical situation. TIF is an acronym for transoral incisionless fundoplication and is a procedure that treats gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, also known as acid reflux or chronic heartburn. Normally, a functioning gastroesophageal valve closes tightly to keep stomach contents from refluxing into the esophagus. If you are suffering from heartburn, regurgitation, chronic cough or sinus problems, you may have a malfunctioning gastroesophageal valve that is unable to prevent reflux and since PPI medication only alters the pH of stomach contents, your GERD symptoms may persist despite consistent doses of even the best medication. The TIF procedure with esophix technology allows physicians to restore deteriorated anatomy, rebuilding the gastroesophageal valve from inside the stomach without incisions. A camera called an endoscope is inserted into the center channel of the esophix device and provides direct visualization for the TIF procedure. While under general anesthesia, the device and endoscope are gently guided through the mouth and esophagus into the stomach. The endoscope is advanced and positioned so that it is viewing the area where the esophagus meets the stomach. The valve reconstruction begins when the physician retracts tissue and pulls it gently into the tissue mold and wraps tissue building a new valve. The device is rotated, creating a fold that recreates the natural reflux barrier. Some patients may have a small hiatal hernia, a condition where a portion of the stomach has migrated up through the diaphragm into the chest cavity. This can be reduced with a simple manipulation of the device using suction. Non-absorbable sutures are used to secure the fold. This process is repeated in specific locations to recreate natural functioning anatomy, thus reducing symptoms that interfere with a normal lifestyle. Approximately 20 sutures are placed during the procedure to recreate anatomy and help prevent stomach contents from refluxing up into the esophagus, which controls troublesome symptoms. A natural healing process called serosal fusion occurs. The body naturally creates a new layer of tissue that secures the newly formed valve. Clinical efficacy and durability of the valve have been confirmed in randomized long-term and sham controlled studies. Patients consistently report improved symptom control and reduced use of medications. Unlike traditional fundoplication, which is associated with long-term side effects such as difficulty swallowing, bloating, or flatulence, the TIF procedure with the Asafex device avoids side effects and has an exemplary safety profile. Physicians have noted improvements on diagnostic measurements. Well-selected TIF patients report consistent, durable quality of life improvements with reduced reliance on medication. Expected risks or discomforts anticipated as a result of an endoscopic procedure include sore throat, hoarseness, lump in the throat feeling, globus pharynges, temporary difficulty, dysphagia, or painful swallowing, odynophagia, due to swelling or tissue manipulation, nausea, gagging, or vomiting, left shoulder pain from CO2 insufflation, temporary abdominal or other pain, which can be treated with standard pain medication. These expected events occur in greater than 25% of people who have the TIF procedure. They are usually mild in severity and resolve themselves shortly after surgery. Serious adverse events have been reported in less than 0.5% of all commercial procedures. The TIF procedure may not be right if patient has a bleeding disorder, chronic uncontrollable cough, stricture, 
severe esophagitis, esophageal diverticuli, an obstruction, a paraesophageal hernia, limited neck mobility, osteophytes of the spine, esophageal varices, esophageal infections or fungal disease, or esophageal stenosis. Has any kind of normal or abnormal esophageal anatomy which would prohibit insertion of the esophix device. Is unable to adhere to the postoperative diet recommended for appropriate healing. Is under 18 years old. Has a hiatal hernia greater than 2 cm in size. Has a BMI greater than 35. The TIF procedure with the esophix device may be appropriate if patient is adult over 18 years old, experiences chronic symptomatic gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, requires and responds to pharmaceutical therapy, has a hiatal hernia less than or equal to 2 cm in size, has a body mass index BMI less than 35. TIF-trained physicians may use additional criteria to determine which patients are appropriate candidates.